Hey guys, welcome back to the Time to Watch channel. I hope you've all been doing well. So today, we have another unboxing and review of this, the boutique exclusive Tudor Black Bay 58 Bronze Reference 79012M. So let's get straight into it. As usual, we have the cardboard box with the Tudor branding, the red shield and the white Tudor text on top here. Let me just slide off this cardboard cover and inside we have the protective foam sheet which protects the main watch box and the main watch box also has this um, shield on top as well so let's take a look at the watch and there it is the black bay 58 bronze boutique edition so i actually picked this piece up during my recent trip to melbourne and I managed to get some pretty nice shots and wrist rolls while I was there, which I will be showing at the end of this video, so do stay tuned for that. But first, as usual, let's go over the measurements first. But before that, let's take a look at what else is inside the box. So just let me set aside the watch. So I'll just place the watch to the side here and go over the contents of the box. So inside this compartment here, we have the complementary fabric strap, which I don't think that I'll be using because the bracelet is just really, really comfortable, especially with the clasp, which we will be talking more about that later. I'm just gonna put this strap back here. And for my six and three quarter inch wrist, I removed four links in total. So I actually removed three at first, and then later I thought that the clasp was not centered in my wrist here so I went back to remove another one and then I moved the T-fit clasp adjustment all the way out so finally I, re uh, I removed four links in total okay let's go over the documentation as well so we have the international guarantee card and you can see that the reference number as I mentioned just now 79012M and the purchase date was 17th of October 2022 just gonna put this down here. We also have the guarantee booklet, the user manual, and just a simple two-door card here. And now let's take a closer look at the watch. So I'm just gonna bring it up to the camera, make sure that it's in focus. Just to take a quick look at this beautiful piece. All right, let me remove it from the cushion. I'll set the cushion back in the watch box. So as usual, we'll go over the measurements of the watch first. So this Black Bay 58 Bronze has a 39 millimeter case. It has a thickness of 11.9 millimeters, so that's very, very slim. A lug to lug of 47 millimeters, a lug width of 20 millimeters, and the bracelet tapers down to about 16 millimeters where it meets the clasp and the width of the clasp here is about 18 millimeters. And inside the case, we have the manufacturer caliber MT5400, which is COSC certified. It beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour or four Hertz, and it has a power reserve of 70 hours. Okay, so just from the looks of it, we know that the most outstanding part of this watch is the material used. So let's talk about that first. The entire case, crown, bracelet, and clasp are made of bronze. So the case bag is made of stainless steel, but it has a bronze PVD coating to blend in with the rest of the watch. So given the bronze material, this watch will patina over time, and the process does happen very quickly. I've only worn this for about two full days since I got it, and I already noticed a bit of patina here and there. Now let's talk about the case. It is fully brushed with chamfers on the edges here and here, giving it a very well-balanced, classy two-watch vibe. The lugs curve down slightly at the edges, as you can see. So towards the outer edges here, it does curve down, so it does sit on the wrist very comfortably. Now the dial is a matte brown and the hour markers are rose gold in color, which complements the dial really, really well. And you will notice that the three, six and nine o'clock indices 
are executed in Arabic numerals, which I think is such a nice touch. It further sets it apart from all the other variations of the Black Bay 58s. Also, the text on the dial is finished in a bronze gold color. I'll just bring it up closer to the camera so that you, you guys can see. It's finished in a bronze gold color, which makes it a bit more subdued and adds to the overall vintage aesthetic. Lastly, the sapphire crystal is domed, so the edge of the dial does give off some distortion when looking at it at an angle, as you can see here. Now the bezel has a brown anodized aluminum insert and it has a coin edge finish. It is a 60 click unidirectional bezel, so let's check out the bezel action right now. As expected, solid and smooth at the same time. I hear a lot of watch reviewers saying that Rolex has the best 120 click bezel and Tudor has the best 60 click bezel and I have to say I do agree with that. This bezel action is just excellent. So let's check it out one more time. It's extremely satisfying to use. Now the screw down crown gives the watch 200 meters of water resistance and the winding action is really smooth and satisfying. Let me just unscrew the crown and do a bit of winding now. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it is very, very crisp and satisfying. Now, pulling the crown out allows you to set the time. And the amount of resistance you feel when setting the time also gives you a good sense of quality. Let me just put it back to the correct time. It's now 3.31 here. And I'll screw the crown back in. Okay, and the bracelet is a fully brushed three-link oyster style bracelet, further adding to the overall tool watch character. Now the clasp is really impressive because it features Tudor's T-Fit clasp which gives you up to 8 millimeters of on-the-fly adjustment. So how it works is that you just need to pull down the bracelet here, like this. And now you're free to slide it in or out to lengthen or shorten the bracelet, like so. Okay, so extremely easy to use and very practical as well. So as we can see, it also has a clamp shell here. so the clasp can be closed more securely. Okay, so I won't be doing a wrist roll here because I will be attaching videos of wrist rolls that I did in Melbourne, and I think that background is way more beautiful. So hope you guys enjoy the shots and wrist rolls that you'll see there. But before that, I will just turn off the lights to check out how well this loom performs. So I haven't actually charged up the loom yet, but as you can see, it is already working quite well. But anyway, let's go ahead and charge it up to its maximum capacity and see how it works. And there we go. So the loom on this piece, again, does not disappoint. And the 369 Explorer dial really makes it very unique. And I do like that design element of this piece. In fact, it is the only Black Bay 58 that features the 369 Arabic numerals. So the loom pip here is also glowing pretty brightly. So overall, really love this piece. And again, I hope you guys enjoy the shots and short clips that I'm going to add uh, right after this to the video. And if you guys find the video informative and entertaining, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that and wish you guys a nice day ahead. Take care and see you guys again soon. Bye.